today on The Real. One, two, three. The Real's putting a little jingle in your holiday as we fill our audience with some very deserving single parents. You're all taking it home. God, I love this show and we're just getting started. And my family is here with a very special carol at The Real. audience filled with the people who deserve it, sometimes most, yes. single parents. Yes. 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 Thank you, thank you. That's right. If you think the elves are the hardest working people this time of year, guess what? You are wrong. Yes. Yes. Because seriously, we want to show our support and gratitude to those parents doing it all by themselves. Yes, yes. yes. you guys. Thank you. Yes. Okay, but we've still got some very merry girl chat for everybody out there. Are we ready to do this, ladies? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. All right, let's do it. Go. So, happy birthday, Jesus. We are ready. Yes. yes. Okay, so <laughs> have you ladies gotten your Christmas shopping done yet? Absolutely. Haven't yes. even started. Yes. Well, yes. Okay, well, don't worry. You ain't start. You in trouble. I still have till Three Kings Day. Do you guys celebrate Three Kings Day? Yes. Yes. Look Latinos, at that. Okay, yeah. Latinos celebrate Three Kings Day as well. So if I missed you on Christmas, I can get you on January you get 6th. Two? Which is Three Kings Day. Or Ooh, sometimes you that. just whip a big happy holiday sticker on it and you say it's just for the whole new year. It just picks it in. <laughs> All of oh, that. I'm so glad right? you told me that because I have not shopped for you ladies. I'm sorry. That's I was getting ready for my trip to Europe. Yeah. That I'm going yeah. Yeah. Hashtag, hashtag Lonnie in Europe. I'm going to be looking at it. Okay. Yes. Get all the pictures. Nice. Hashtag Definitely. Lonnie better stop by the ATM machine and exchange a gift. You know what? what? <laughs> you know what? Behave. No. Okay, well, I have good news, okay? Because check it out. The department what? store, Kohl's, is staying open, Lonnie, for 170 hours straight for last minute holiday shopping. Ooh. Ooh. That is genius. The question is this is capitalist, capitalism at its best. Yes, it is. When you want clothes, at all, I mean, the poke nice. ass kids, they gonna be sleepy, yeah. you know, trying to get, I mean, it's like, is it that much of a holiday that we can't take a break? It absolutely is. I am the Christmas princess, okay? <laughs> yes, she is. And, you she know, really there's is. certain things that you have to do, you know, to make Christmas amazing. Okay. I'm not exchanging sure. gifts. I give you a all gift, right. you give me a gift. Okay. That's how that See, goes. now, I'm glad you brought that up because we're gonna talk about this. Okay. This wasn't even on to talk about. But okay. I'm gonna let, People know I feel pressure and to get gifts. You are. Wait. You know, do anybody else feel pressure to get gifts? Okay. Let's just it's, say this. This is coming from the depths this of your soul. This is the depths of the brown liquor stomach field. Okay. No, tell us how you feel, Lonnie. Lonnie. Do you I tell have us how you feel. Tell us how you feel. Gifts. That's the question. No. What did I? What did I? What did I text all you have? That was two days before. That's too late. <laughs> she texted us. You texted to say no gifts, guys, because I haven't had time to get no, any but gifts. But there was that, 48 hours before but that, it was due. And that so shouldn't that ain't stop. Right. And Lonnie, and Lonnie, Lonnie, say Lonnie, it, say that it. shouldn't stop us from wanting to give you a gift now. No, yeah, but, but not, then it makes no, you feel true. bad. No. no, but I like, honestly, exactly. honestly, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I do like receiving. receiving. Exactly. I do, exactly. however, exactly. I do, I do love giving. I love giving. I love to see your guys' faces yes. because I really, but I really think my, about my but, gift. You know okay. what, though? Wait, I wait, isn't that what Christmas is all about? No. Wait, yeah. 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 Am I losing my mind here? No, it is not. Adrian, I feel like I should be in front right now. Adrian, the I'm not fronting. You I like, swear to God. You like 
and receiving. You do, Lonnie. I dropped off my gifts and you looked really happy. Thank you. you. Are. But you I, will, know, I will tell you guys ahead. this. Wait, wait, let me tell you this. Lonnie has not left her room all day and I'm like, what's going on? She kept it locked. I'm, I'm she got <laughs> shut down. You guys, I walked in her room. Did you see I'm Lonnie? Did you see? No, no, I walked no, in her she, room. She, I'm not making this up. Lonnie has 50,000 cards I'm all over the place. Like this. And then her hair looks like this. And I walked in and she goes, she's signing Christmas cards. She goes, <laughs> what, Janie? <laughs> And she's got all these cards, and she's trying to. She's like she's elfing and Santa and Mrs. Claus because herself. Because I've right been now. pressured, I have right. to give gifts. So I went and I went to CVS. Good for you. <laughs> and I bought a bunch of gift cards because I said before I go to Europe. But for you ladies, I just want y'all to know, I'm getting y'all gifts overseas. No, so no, I'm getting no, overseas. no, no, no. Okay, oh, no, you're not getting you. anything from well, me, Tamar. Me thank Texas. you. Oh, no, thank you, Lonnie. Oh, no, I'm getting. I'm, I, that's that's. I'm giving you a card, and then the card is gonna say you gonna get your actual gift <laughs> when I come back <laughs> on King's Day. Now, hey, so thank me, you. Me, actually, Lonnie, January 6th, guys. In case you missed it, January 6th. You get to I have a second to chance. You so and I'm, I'm, just, I'm just grateful, I'm grateful, Lonnie, that you even thought of us. How and beautiful I'm, is and that? I'm serious. Well, I truly mean well, that. I'm going to try one and not get y'all something. Now, you, know. you <laughs> might get your shopping done last minute, Tamar, but do you guys ever see? overbuy? <laughs> oh, she's wow. like, yes, I overbuy. Well, one mother did and is facing some backlash over it. Emma Tapping, a mother of three from the UK, posted a photo of her Christmas tree overflowing with presents to her Instagram page. Yes. You guys see that? Oh, that's so guys, fun. Guys, it almost covered the entire tree. Oh, my God. So the that's picture amazing. went viral, and people are calling her kids spoiled. They tried it. The mother responded to all the negative attention by clarifying that the gifts weren't only for her kids and saying, please try and remember, this is about three little children, their Christmas, and their tree. Merry Christmas. Aww. So, Tamar... Should this woman be scorned for buying too many gifts for her kids? I've never heard of that in my life. No. What? Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm supposed to, is a gift limit now? I can only buy two gifts per kid? Like, that's really what that's supposed to be? Like, for real, come No, but, on. But, but be honest. When you what? look at this photo, would you be like, no, okay, that's see, a little saying, excessive? No, it's not. a little bit, no? My parents have six kids. Oh, y'all right? ball out for your kids yeah, then. Come on, I, wow. I, come on, I used yeah. to, come on. My parents have six kids, right? Yes. And when we was little, you know, because I'm the Christmas princess, yes. I used to count the gifts to see who has the most gifts. You're that kid? Yes. I know. And so, you know, I mean, if it's like, if you give each kid like seven, eight gifts, how much is that add? Now, y'all real smart. You know what seven, I mean? Seven, eight like, gifts a like, kid? So what I'm saying is, it's about that many, and then you got the mommy and the daddy, and then what the kids get the parents, and then what y'all get each other. Huh? It look like that. When I do look at that, Tay Tay, I do <laughs> see don't, don't that, do that that is. Don't do that. I, I, don't make I me do. take a picture no, of your no, tree, No, 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 no. No, I swear to God, no. <laughs> no, Tamar, because in my family, honestly, we, we, we only give each person just one gift. Wait a minute, wait. Don't do that for me. I like We do. To. We do. Okay. We do. Okay, wait, okay. I want to hear it. Tamar, are you are saying, you doing that with your kids? Yes. We did one gift and gets one. Because we were that, this is the real, we were that family that used to count gifts. Uh -huh. And then throughout the years, people, you know, started getting little attitudes. Wait a minute. How come this person got three and this person got four? And then we missed the whole point of right. the true meaning of right. the season. Wow. We did, which can happen. Uh, Y'all know my policy about giving gifts, right? My policy what? is when you the parent, I give a gift to your children. Yeah. And so I got a message to today from no. Tamara. Yes. Tamara yes. stopped me, and she said, what you tell me? I said, don't forget about me, Lonnie. Is that <laughs> I knew she was over here. She just ain't gonna tell nobody. No, it's true. Lonnie, I used to do that, too. Don't that do does that, not, dog. the that's mom not and dad fair. Yes, don't dog, love Logan that. Too. He, can't, don't, he don't know But he then that's not fair to me. Don't do that. Why? I only get one gift. I gotta get you a gift, a riot. She's taking it. She's taking it. Adam, because if I don't get him one, then he really, he gonna feel left out too. So that's four against that's one. Right. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's not fair for single people, okay? Yes. You better get you somebody, dude. You said get somebody. You better get you somebody. <laughs> now, I'm excited, y'all. Let's get into some more girl chat, because okay. when I was away, y'all decided y'all was gonna have an ugly sweater contest without me. <laughs> and I've just gotta say, 
In this particular competition, I am glad I missed it, dog. Okay. Now, you all are competing for this coveted trophy here. Now, usually I've been gonna fight somebody over this, but the sweaters are so wrong and ratchet this year, I'm gonna let y'all go on and carry that load for okay. me, okay? So okay. for everyone at home that missed what the girls wore, child, take a look at this ugly sweater smackdown. I'm gonna be y'all friend right now. Tell that y'all are ratchet.com, dog. <laughs> like, y'all on the cover of the magazine. Okay. And it's a g g g Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but we had to ask you all at home who you thought sported the ugliest sweater, okay? And I'm gonna tell y'all who the winner is. I ain't even got that. This year's winner for the ugliest Christmas sweater at the rear would be Lonnie. <laughs> The holidays is all about spending time with your family and friends. Yes. So today I wanted to bring my family here to spread some holiday cheer with our new album, Braxton Family Christmas. Yes, everybody, please welcome my sisters, Tony, Tracy, Tawan, and Trina, and my brother, Michael Braxton. This good looking of a family. Won't he do it? Wait, wait. Yeah. Look in the audience. Miss Evelyn is here, and the babies are here. This is such a gorgeous family. Oh, you thank you. Thank you <laughs> so much. Well, Everyone looks like me. Oh, oh, oh gee. You got the leftover DNA, sweetheart. <laughs> You guys are right. I do have some beautiful sisters, but it's not it's just about their outer beauty. Their inner beauty is, I mean, amazing. I mean, it surpasses yeah, yeah, it. their outer beauty. We saw how some of this album came together on Braxton Family Values, and we want to know what were some of the biggest challenges in working together, getting the album done? Yes. It was the scheduling, because yeah, everybody's yeah. booked, y'all. So it's yeah. like, you know, first of all, my brother, he, he's an RN, right? And, oh, and awesome. yes, you are nice. Yes, he's a nurse. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you for that. And that you know, awesome. he, he works he all the time. You, yeah. He loves what he does. And so we really wanted him to be a part of our album. And everybody know Tony Braxton been booked since 93. And <laughs> then like <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, Tracy has a radio show now, so she can't never really leave, you know, D.C. Uh -huh. And Tawanda, she's doing movies and stuff, and she ain't got time for us. And she's going <laughs> to open up her bar chicks, and, yes. you know. Woo! And it has chicken. Yes, it has chicken <laughs> yes. now. And, y'all know, I'm here. I'm here in L.A. all the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was just the scheduling, getting everybody together. But we, we managed to do it, and this is, like, our best work yet. Yeah. We're very yeah. proud of it. This is, like, the family. I love it. I love it. Okay, Tony. Yes. You have a biopic coming out on Lifetime called Tony Braxton, Unbreak My Heart. Woo! <laughs> How involved were you in the creative process? You know, outside of writing the book, I didn't want to be involved creatively because okay. it's, I think it's challenging when you see yourself, see someone portraying you, you want to make changes all the time. So I, I stayed that. away. Yeah. I stayed away. <laughs> Tamar, you yeah. haven't seen Who's Playing You yet, I have you? I haven't seen anything about the movie yet. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't pick Tamar. I'm I didn't pick any okay. of the sisters. Oh, okay. You didn't, no. did you okay. Know? You ain't well, seen We have a pick. We have a pick, Tay Tay. No. Tamar. Tamar. That's close. That's close. Tamar. She's Who pretty. That family? That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's us. That's, that's the Raxton. You could go through. <laughs> you could go through. <laughs> and you found somebody to act like me. Yes, she Lord. does. You tried it. Really? <laughs> she does. She, she acts like She Tamar. has really? I promise you. 
<laughs> she but Tony, is this is the no. final question that's going to go to you. Yeah. Being such an icon in R&B, yeah. how does it feel to still be, like, on top? Yes. It's 2015. How do you feel? blessed when I look at my life and all the ups and downs I've been through and I'm like that's what it's called a career there are lots yes. of ups and downs mm -hmm. and I'm still here and even when I didn't believe in myself you know everyone out there reminded me of my talent and the man upstairs of course helped me out and my mom and my family. Yes. It's the holiday season and we received a lot of letters from our loyal viewers. Recently we got this letter from a single mom of two young boys. Michelle Ramirez wrote I recently got let go from my job in July that I had for almost seven years. I am now struggling to make ends meet for not only myself, but for my boys. I'm sad to say that I don't think I will be able to have presents for Christmas. Well, we couldn't allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to help. She's here in our audience. Get on down here, Michelle. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Michelle. Okay. Thank you. So we understand that obviously you're already in tears. You've had such a rough year, and we know it's been really, really hard since you lost your job this summer. So tell us a bit about that. Uh, well, I had my job. I've been in the medical field for at that last job for seven years, and they let me go, and it's been really hard for mm -hmm. me to be able to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. I have um, 10 credits for to become an educator and I'm missing two credits, but I don't have the means to go back to school, but I've been able to volunteer at my son's school to mm -hmm. kind of get myself back in there. Are you looking for work and how will this affect your holidays? Uh, I have been looking for work, but I haven't had any luck. Uh, I'm just worried about my kids. Mm -hmm. I wanna make sure that they don't lose hope and believing mm -hmm. in Santa because that means a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us about your beautiful boys. Do they know about these money issues that you're having? Um, well, I have two boys, Fernando, that's eight, and Andrew, that is oh, so five. Oh, you. Um, they, I don't tell them too much yeah, because yeah. they're kids. They shouldn't have yeah. to worry about that. But I, they do know that when we go to the store and they say, oh, mom, can we get that? And I tell them, you know, you have to wait. Let's wait for maybe Santa could get it for you. But we're just trying to make ends meet. Well, we didn't want to have them to hear this, so that's why yeah. they're not here right now, but they are backstage, and we know that they do have a wish or two, and we're gonna surprise them with the chance to make their wish come true. Is, are you okay with that? Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so let's meet your boy. <laughs> Okay, how cute are they? Yes. Yeah. 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 Look at his face. Hi, boys. Hi. How do you feel right now? Are you excited to be here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Andrew, Fernando, we want to know, what are you looking forward to for Christmas? Um, we're looking forward to getting presents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you are my Princess Tamar for Christmas. <laughs> so, well, you know what, guys? We're going to give you a chance to win some great gifts with our holiday game. We're gonna play a game, okay? okay. Yay! It's called Stocking Stuffers, all right? Stocking now, this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go down here. Come with Auntie Lonnie. Come on down here. We don't know that, right? Okay. Now. Look how cute. You're gonna have 30 seconds to stuff this stocking using these ornaments, okay? This is the easiest game in history, all right? So, okay, get ready, set, stuff! <laughs> Run 
for both of you. <gasps> yes, How did you did. know now that it won and Megan won oh! the <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute, look at his face. Well, my friend, this is for you. And do you know what? Which do you think is yours? Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did you see him? He's so tiny. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Do you know what? I want to thank both of you. <laughs> For being oh so yeah, there very go. good. <laughs> Merry Christmas! You guys, there's one more thing that was a little too big for Santa's sleigh. Michelle, we shared your story with the elves at Retail Me Not, a coupon company that helps people save money. And as part of their Save It Forward mission that encourages people to do something nice for others, they wanted to give something nice to you to ensure that you have a happy holiday as well. Okay? <laughs> Let me get it for you. Hold on. It is... Excited? You're excited? Well, yeah. Well, this is just a little bit, and we hope that it helps you, okay? And you cook, you Ooh, keep doing your thing, yes, okay, Michelle? Yes. We love you very much. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 Michelle, Fernando, and Andrew, thank you so much for being here, and we hope you guys have the merriest and happiest of holidays, okay? <laughs> 